is Mitch here from Minifig Man Cave doing another Lego book review from DK Publishing. This is the Lego minifigure year by year, a visual history. It's recommended for ages 6 and up. Contains 255 uh, pages and 3 minifigs and lots of pictures of minifigs. And it retails for $40 US. So let's get started. The front of the book here shows just a bunch of Minifigs kind of a bit of a timeline of some highlights in minifigure history, and they throw in the townsperson, stormtrooper, and robber minifigures um, throughout there. Well, in different places there. So, let's open it up. I'm just going to take out the main things really quick. We'll look at them after we finish flipping through the book. Stormtrooper. Where's the tape on this one? Oh, open it. Oh, there's, there's the... I'll peel that part. Our wrapper. And our townsperson. So on the inside cover here, you can see we do have several minifigs. And I think it's pretty cool that it goes from classic space to the most recent space theme Galaxy Squad there. I think that's really cool. And then here we have just an old basic minifig. And a whole bunch of minifigs from different time periods. We have the table of contents of the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and 2010s. And then we have Brain Lego Play Life, like the history of the Lego figure in general. And then how what's well, a minifig, and then like a bunch of different figs. And how's a minifig made? A timeline that also goes on to the next couple of pages. There we go. So we have the 70s. Uh, 78, Town Castle in Space, 79, same sort of stuff except it introduced Fabuland, the 80s, 81, well, 80, 81, 82, 83, Mad About Hats, um, just a bunch of, like, different headgear pieces, not hair, just hats and helmets and masks, like Batman. Um, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 89 were the first faces besides the, this face were introduced. Then we had the 90s, awesome Darth Vader picture by the way, 1990 with some Duplo in there. 92 with some, I mean 91 with some more Duplo. Oh, there's Black Tron now. Cool. 92. 93. 94. 95. I mean 94. Wait, there's two pages for 94. Two page spreads. Oh, Belvo is over there. 95. Primo. Cool. 96. Uh, 95 still. 96. Or 96, hey, Western. 97. More stuff. Uh, more 97. More 97. That's interesting. Duplo cave people. I'm actually going to hold the camera for this. 98. More 98. More 98. A cut above. So this is all about haircuts. Hairstyles. Including Medusa. That's cool. But... Yeah, there's that. Star Wars introduced in 1999. And basically just all the other 1999 stuff. Here we enter the 21st century and the new millennia. Well, not new anymore, is isn't. Um, so we got 2000. With some more Star Wars stuff. The studios, heads, different types of heads. Very cool. 
2001 was Harry Potter was introduced. More, a little bit more Star Wars. And all these. 2002 with episode 2 minifigs and Spider Man. More Harry Potter. Sports, Castle. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Whole bunch of stuff. City. I mean, 2003, but World City. World City. Because they hadn't actually introduced the theme known as City yet. More Star Wars. The further you go, the more pages each year has, it seems. Awesome. Some good versus bad stuff. Where's Star Wars on this page? Is it on this page? No, it is not. Maybe it's just non-licensed. And then, 2004. Star switching to flesh color. Weird. I wonder how weird it was for, like, people who had been collecting the theme for the first few years, and then, boom, suddenly everything's realistic. There's, uh, 2005, we finally get the, the modern city theme, Vikings, Dino stuff, Light Up Lightsabers, Lots of Clones, More Harry Potter, 2006, we got Batman, SpongeBob, Exo Force, Avatar City. As you can tell, there's a lot to see in this book, guys. On the move, <coughs> so like <coughs> some stuff for um. Oh look, spinners are even on here. Are speedors on here? Yep, speedors are on here. And uh, <coughs> sorry, guys. Uh, 2007. Seven. Seven. Ultimate Collector's Falcon minifigs. And such. More city stuff. Oh, eight. More Indiana Jones and such. Um, Speed Racer. Very short lived theme. S some Clone Wars figs. More city and stuff. Mini gear. 2009. Some cool stuff going on in here. Pirates. Star Wars with some chrome figs. Oh, neo classic looking space figs because they have the modern helmet. Um, so they're kind of, I guess you could say neo classic. Uh, Indiana Jones again. And, uh, 2010s. Hey, look at that. Collectible minifigs. More collectible minifigs. Castle. Well, kingdoms, technically. Atlantis. Harry Potter, one of the last years of Harry Potter. Um, World Racers, and some seasonal stuff. Uh, Star Wars, some special stuff and advanced models, minifigs. Rare minifigs, so we got some Toy Fair figs, Mr. Gold. Who's that? Deboostine? I don't know. Um, the Lego Universe fig. Red Sox, that's cool. Uh, MNR Productions 34, you'd like that Red Sox fan, wouldn't you? Uh, Gold 3PO, Boba Fett, the Cloud City version, which is awesome. 2011, Ninjago, of course, started. First quest happened, didn't last long. Uh, Alien Conquest, more collectible minifigures, so we got Series 3, 4, and 5. Harry Potter... Uh, the Comic Con, the figs that were given away at Comic Con. Um, Shadow of Trooper and the Star Wars Advent Calendar started. First, uh, Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar was in 2011. Um, so, lots of awesome minifigure related stuff there. Then we get into 2012, so we have Lord of the Rings, DC Superheroes, Marvel Superheroes. Uh, Dino, one last Harry Potter fig in a book, Ninjago, Series 6, 7, uh, and Team GB minifigures. Wait, where's Series 8? Oh, there was Series 8, okay. <laughs> and then Lego City, Lego Star Wars, Lego Crater Expert is now called. Um, Monster Fighters and some exclusive figs. And then 
stuff about where many figures appear animated. 2013, Shima. Series 9. Series 10. TMNT. The Hobbit. Those, but the first wave of Hobbit sets were actually released in 2012. Um, Lego Friends. Lego Lord of the Rings. DC and Marvel Superheroes. Awesome Star Wars figs. Of course, where's the... Made the fourth promo from this year. The Hanzo, I don't know. Hey, there's the uh, Yoda Chronicles book fig, the Special Forces Commander. And we have Ninjago, Galaxy Squad, a little bit of City, including Chase McCain. Is Chase McCain the first City minifig to have a name? I do not know. And then we have the Index. And the Index some more. And the Acknowledgements. And there's... So let's take a quick look at the figs. So the first minifigure here is the Tans person. He just has the standard male hair, the classic expression, a red shirt and red pants. No printing on those. Next up here we have the robber. He or his parts have appeared in um, several city sets in recent years, starting with 2012. So not too much to say there. And finally, probably the most exciting minifig here is the Stormtrooper. He's not new or anything, but you never have too many of him. Of course, he's the one with the face. And uh, this is this book isn't actually the cheapest way to get him. He appears in the Ewok Village and the Rebel Troopers and Imperial Troopers Battle. So overall, this is probably one of the coolest Lego books I have ever seen and owned. This is an amazing book. I highly recommend picking it up for any LEGO fan. No matter if you prefer the 70s, 80s, 90s, anything. Or if you're just a minifig collector in general. Or just any LEGO fan. Again, any LEGO fan whatsoever needs to buy this book. And uh, the three minifigs are a nice added bonus. Uh, Townsperson is nothing special, but a little retro in there is always nice. And then the robber's pretty cool. Although common and the stormtrooper only appears in a couple sets. So. Nice to get him here. This version, anyway. Um, so, again, go buy this book as soon as you can. Uh, you can get it on Amazon for a good bit cheaper than the $40 retail price. And I recommend doing so. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this review of this awesome book. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.